no mother he has no mother father son and kinsman he is free from lust and has no wife thou o lord art without ancestry unsoiled by mammon's love endless and infinite thy light is pervading all within every heart is hid the lord and in all the hearts and bodies is his light by guru's teaching are the adamantine doors of ignorance opened and in the state of fearlessness is one then absorbed creating the beings the lord has stationed death over their head and all their working the lord has kept under his sway he who serves the true guru receives the name's wealth and is emancipated by living by it in the pure vessel is contained the true name a few indeed are blessed with the pure living nanak says by seeking the shelter of the lord man's essence unites with the supreme essence so at first guru as is the fish without water so is an apostate who dies of thirst so does thou die o man without god if thy breath goes in vain without his name o my self utter thou the lord's name and praise him without the guru how shall thou obtain this nectar the guru unites man with the lord for the guru wards meeting the society of the saints is like visiting a holy pilgrimage the merit of ablution at the 68 places of pilgrimage is attained by beholding the guru as is a yogi without continence austerity penance truth and contentment so is the body without the lord's name death punishes it because of the sin within it the mammon worshipper does not obtain lord's love through the true guru lord's love is attained nanak says he whom guru the giver of weal and woe meets gets absorbed in the lord's praise so at first guru thou o reverend beneficent lord art of perfect understanding and munificence we are but beggars of thine what should i ask for nothing remains permanent o lord bless me with thy beloved name in every heart the lord is pervasive in ocean earth and sky he is hiddenly contained and by god's word his sight is seen in the mortal world neither world and heavenly regions guru has shown me the lord by showering his benediction through the true guru he the unborn lord is and shall also ever be in thy heart behold him the enemy of pride this wretched world is subject to birth and death and in another's love it has forgotten the lord's meditation when the true guru is met then is the guru's wisdom obtained the reprobate loses his life game by snapping my bonds the true guru has freed me so i shall not be cast into the womb again nanak says within me is the light of the jewel of divine enlightenment and the formless lord has taken abode in my mind so at first guru the treasure of the name nectar for the sake of which thou hast come into the world that nectar is with the guru discard ritual garbs disguises cleverness and duality with these this fruit is not obtained o my self remain in poise and wander not anywhere searching outside thou shall suffer much pain the nectar is in thy heart at home forsake sins and pursue virtue by committing sins thou shall regret thou knowest not the distinction between good and evil thou again and again sinkest in the mire of sins within thee is great filth of greed and falsehood so what for thou washest thy outside body ever utter thou the immaculate name by guru's guidance and then alone shall thy inner self be emancipated abandon greed and slander and force wear falsehood by following guru's word thou shall obtain true fruit as it pleases to thee so do thou preserve me o reverend god slave nanak sings the praise of thy name surat first guru panch padas thy own home thou cannot save from being plundered why seekest thou others houses 
the servant who quaffed the name nectar and who engages in the service of the supreme guru he saves his health and home o oh my mind thou realize in what evil thinking art thou engaged forgetting the name the man is engrossed in other relishes the unfortunate one shall regret in the end man is pleased when wealth comes and weeps when it goes this wheel and bow remain attached with him the lord himself makes man partake pain and pleasure but the guru ward remains unaffected by it what else can be said to be better and above lord's elixir he who quaffs it is stiated lured by mammon he who loses this nectar that mammon worshipper is yoked to evil intellect the bright lord is contained in the body he is the life of the mind and master of the body's breath if thou so blessed o lord god then the man lovingly sings thy praise and being attached with thee in love gets stiated in the company of the holy lord's elixir is obtained and meeting the guru fear of death departs nanak says one by guru's guidance contemplating the name by good fortune recorded on his forehead attains the lord so that first guru over the head of all the beings is the lord's writ there is none over whom this writ is not applicable he himself is without a writ creating the creation the lord beholds it and himself causes his writ to be executed o man meditate thou on the lord that thou mayest get peace day and night serve thou the feet of the guru to know the lord himself is the bestower and enjoyer he who is within see him outside as well as without him there is no other second by guru's grace see thou all with the same one eye as in every heart the lord's light is contained keep your restless mind in poise by meeting the guru this understanding is achieved on seeing the invisible lord thou shall be wonder struck and then forgetting thy suffering thou shall have peace by quaffing ambrosia thou shall attain bliss and shall abide in thy own self home sing thou the praise of the destroyer of the dread of the birth and death thou shall not be born again the light of the pure lord the essence of everything is pervading all in i and he there is no difference he is the infinite transcendent lord the supreme god and him nanak has obtained as his guru so at first guru kar third the creator of all is one the only one he is realized by true guru's grace when i become pleasing to him then alone i sing his praise thus i receive the fruit of singing his praise the fruit of chanting his praise is received when he the lord himself bestows it myself by guru's word have obtained the name treasure therewith now i remain absorbed in the true name when the guru's teaching became manifest within me then did i forsake my restless temperament with the light of the guru's teaching the entire darkness is dispelled when man's mind is attached with the guru's feet then death's path runs far away from him in the lord's fear the man attains to the fearless lord then he enters the home of poise and celestial bliss nanak says some rare person after contemplation knows as to what is the most pious deed in this world the noblest deed is the lord's praise whereby the lord himself meets the mortal surat 